Um, <clears throat> a lot of little Saturn. Don't see those very much anymore. Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you're all doing excellent. If you've been following along with our 7 adventures, in the last episode we fixed a major problem which was we were running the wrong fuel and premix in the FC. We were able to get it idling, running, and even took it for a little test drive for a while. But after a while, some of the same symptoms started to show up, meaning not holding idle, having trouble revving. So we did the first easy thing, which is change the spark plugs, nothing. Contacted again our tuner, Nelson. Um, <clears throat> a lot of little Saturn. Don't see those very much anymore. Anyway, uh, and he suggested we flow test the injectors. And the injectors did not pass the test. So, we had them sonically cleaned, and uh, they're still failing. So, got new injectors on the way, but also what was recommended was to get a much better fuel filter and get that installed and then get ready for the new injectors. There's a couple other prep things I need to do to get ready for the dyno. In, I need to ground the battery, negative side of the battery, to the engine block. Currently it's grounded to the chassis, and yes the chassis is bolted to the engine block, but for strength of ground we need to get it grounded to the engine block. So I've got some supplies here now, I'm going to show you what I got, and we'll kind of go through what today's project is going to be. So here is the pretty piece that I got. This is the Injector Dynamics ID F750 fuel filter. Now this thing is beautiful, well made, and should protect our car ooh, stickers from any more damage to the injectors. So this beautiful piece right here looks like a remote oil catch or excuse me, oil filter but it is indeed a very fancy high-spec fuel filter. So I need to figure out how to mount that and put that in line on the fuel feed. Over here, I have some zero-gauge wire to make a new battery ground. This is a lot of zero-gauge wire, and again, this is from Install Gear. It's another, probably third purchase I've made from them. I'm going to leave the link in the description below for this wire and these terminal connectors. Um, this is incredibly affordable for the length of wire. Any of you doing wiring or have any uh, worked on any projects like that know that this stuff starts to add up quick. This is a great looking product and it is a great price. Um, Install Gear seems to be more focused on audio equipment and car accessory installation, but this should do really well for uh, ground to the engine block. In here I have my injectors. Scribbled on here is the before flow test and the after. Um, they were able to get them up because they were flowing really, really poorly. Um, but one of them was only able to get up to 948. Um, and the other ones are 1700 cc injectors. Even after cleaning, we're only at 1380 and 1400. You can definitely run a rotary with that. The stock injectors are 550 cc. But what you have to understand is when you put these injectors in and you put them into the program that they're made to run as 1700s you, and they're not flowing that correctly you're going to run into fueling problems and you're going to blow up the motor. So unfortunately these beautiful injector dynamics injectors are as the Germans say kaput. So this project is going to take me a couple days because I'm still waiting for some fittings for the fuel lines and the injectors to arrive. But I thought I'd go ahead and get started because I'm going to need to make a bracket for that fuel filter and go ahead and get some of the other pieces started. So let's go ahead and open up the FC. Okay. So here we have our Elite Rotary primary and secondary fuel rails. We're going to go ahead and pull these off. There's no injectors in them. And what I need to do is just run some clean fuel through there without the injectors just to clean out the fuel system. Probably going to run at least a few gallons through everything without the return 
just to get everything flushed out before we move forward. And then we need to find a place somewhere in this already crowded engine bay to go ahead and mount our fuel pressure, or excuse me, our fuel filter. So needless to say, I'm going to let all that air out and evaporate for a little while before I do anything else. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I'm back. It's a few days later. I've finally received all the parts I need to finish this project. And right now I'm going to show you the fuel filter dressed up and my idea for a bracket. Alright, so here's our fuel filter. I got dash 8 uh, male to male, dash 8 to dash 6, and these fittings will go on the ends of our fuel lines. And I think that set will work up, work out for where I want to place it in the engine bay. And I've got my nice thick piece of metal here, and this is the simple little bracket I'm going to be working on. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this up, cut it out, and then I need to put some self-etching primer and a coat of paint on there so it looks nice. And I'll get started on that right now. Okay, so this is the simple bracket I'm about to bend up for mounting the fuel pressure, uh, I keep saying that, fuel filter. So this piece is going to bend down and this piece is going to bend down. So it's going to kind of be like a box. So now I'm going to try and start making some bends and i got to mark places to drill holes to mount it and then we're going to paint it up. Okay, so my bracket is finished. Three holes on the front will be to hold the fuel filter in place. One bolt here on top. One slide fitting on the side, which bolts down as well. So now we're going to go ahead and get this cleaned up and paint it so it looks nice in the engine bay. So while that's sitting out back and drying, I've got this mount mocked up where I do plan to mount it just zip tight in there right now but what this allows us to do is we're going to go ahead and make the fuel lines and then we'll get the injectors back in and everything and then we can just bolt it all up and we should be able to fire up and get ready to go so fuel filters here because there's space there 
and it's on the cold side. I don't want to put too much over here because it's where the exhaust is and the turbo and the downpipe. Um, and then here also we want to be able to reach under there and get that off easily so that's easily accessible. And the fuel feed comes right up from there and the fuel return goes right up on top of the engine block right here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the fitting off on the feed side. Get that set up into some of our fuel line here and then we'll run it underneath the car and cut it to length. So here's the old fuel lab filter, inline filter here. Just pulled this off out from underneath. Uh, I'm going to probably need to reuse some of these fittings to make it work. But now I'm going to get that uh, line I just made connected to the hard lines of the fuel and then uh, move on from there. Okay, so the feed line is connected it's right there. Now the return line needs to get from here up on top of here, I know there's a bunch of wires here, but I can show you that there's a fitting right there that Ys out and it goes to both the fuel rails here, which then return to the fuel pressure regulator and back into the tank. So I need to get it from here to here. This is the original fitting I had on it and it was angled back. So I think if I angle it this way, it should work pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and try and test fit some ideas with that. And probably get a, well definitely get a new length of fuel line. Okay, so I got the original fitting angled the way I want it. And I have this old line coming up here. Obviously it doesn't quite reach. But what I'm thinking is something like this and this is plenty long the only thing is I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to route this line so you have to think about that and clearance and everything and I think it's going to be just fine going right on top there and kind of contouring right along the oil filler neck and down in there so I'm going to take some measurements and then make some more fuel line length of fuel line for this project mocked up right here so we'll go ahead and install this and see how well it fits.
that should be the fuel lines ran and I've tightened everything up fingers crossed there's no leaks I'm gonna go ahead and dress up the injectors now get those put in and then we can install the upper intake manifold replug all the vacuum lines and wires and then hopefully prime the fuel system and well before we hook up the upper intake manifold we should have a sealed fuel system so we're gonna go ahead and prime it and check for any leaks before we put that on so here we go okay so right here I got our set of four brand new injector dynamics 1700x injectors hopefully these are a ticket to a clean good running engine now that we've got our fancy injector dynamics fuel filter so these have to be a little bit modified I have to take off some of the top caps on two of them and then put these little adapters so they can get into our elite rotary uh, fuel rails so I'm gonna go ahead and get those dressed up and set up right now okay so I got them all dressed up I had to pull the top hats off of the um, old ones put them on here these are gonna be the primaries they match up with these purples to go into the um, ports in the engine and then these are the secondaries which go with the silvers so go ahead and pop those in now okay so we are ready to prime the fuel system and check for leaks injectors are plugged in all that's tightened down let's give it a shot with our fingers crossed that this is a one and done scenario I do have a bit of a leak unfortunately from the new fuel filter itself look like it's coming off the output fitting there and a little bit from the screw on filter cover um, I do have to remove that anyway to get that bracket mounted up so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten those things down uh, and then check for any other leaks nothing's coming from the fuel rails or injectors which is great nothing's coming from the plumbing we put together for the fuel feed so just need to tighten up a few things on that new fuel filter. Alrighty boys and girls, we've got our fuel filter mounted up on the bracket we made. I retightened the fitting so hopefully there are no leaks. I'm going to go ahead and plonk it in here and keep my fingers crossed. I would love to get this fuel, but this fuel system pressurized uh, with no leaks and get the car started. Okay, so it was leaking again, and I knew I must have been doing something wrong, so I contacted Injector Dynamics. They quickly replied via email. Basically, my problem was I was using a union-type Dash 8 adapter, but this seals with an O-ring style Dash 8 adapter. So, I'm going to put those back in. They also said that this was leaking because this unit needs to maintain pressure in order to seal here. And since these weren't sealed and they were slowly seeping, this was seeping as well. So all I should need to do is switch out to these, plug it back in, and then we should be good to go. So let me pop these in here and hook it back up and then we'll test for leaks again. Okay, with those new fittings, we are all good. We have no leaks. No leaks up here either, no leaks at the injectors, and my reading on the Haltech tells me I have solid fuel pressure anyway. So now let's get the upper intake manifold on, get everything connected, and let's see if we can fire her up and we've got this problem fixed with these new injectors and this fancy new fuel filter. All right, we're buttoned back up here. I think I got everything reconnected. So now it's a moment of truth to see if she's gonna fire up and hold an idle. So here we go.
It's working. Okay, good. It's running really rich, which is what I expected when it got back on these fully flowing 700 cc injectors. So I'm going to get in the phone with my tuner. We're going to go ahead and uh, do a remote session as soon as possible. This is hugely, hugely encouraging. Thank God. Okay. Well, quite a journey again. Lots of learning. This past month has been a lot of learning from multiple, to be quite honest, mistakes that we made uh, putting the car together on our own. So, it's great to have support. Lucky 7, tuned by Nelson. Huge, 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 huge help. So, if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Also, a lot of the products I use on this, I'm going to link to the Amazon uh, site, our, our affiliate link. Appreciate it if you click on those if you plan on buying any. Especially the fuel fittings. I got a great kit a long time ago, and it's given me all the fittings and lines I need to make a bunch of edits to the system. So I do highly recommend it. Anyway, I'm going to let it figure out its idle a little bit. Double check everything I plug back together here. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in the next one.